Hello everyone. Thank you for attending our workshop, International Challenge on Compositional and Multimodal Perception. My name is Kazuki Kozuka. I'm a researcher at Panasonic and one of the co-organizers of this workshop. My aim in the next few minutes is to provide you an overview of this workshop. So let's get started. In our workshop, we will discuss compositionality and multimodality in computer vision. We understand the world as sum of parts. So the representation of whole should be composed of representation of its parts. We understand the scene by components, a 3D shape by parts, and activity by events. We hypothesize that intelligent agents also need to develop compositional understanding. On the other hand, in recent years, there have been many advances in learning from multimodal data. For example, audiovisual learning. Traditionally, these modalities have been studied in isolation. Researchers have increasingly been creating algorithms that are from both modalities. This has produced many exciting developments in separation and localization, correspondence learning, audiovisual generation, and representation learning. Let me talk more about compositionality. People understand the world as sum of its parts. Objects can be broken down into pieces, events are composed of other actions, and a sentence is composed of a series of words. When presented with a new concept, people can decompose a novelty into familiar parts. So our knowledge representation is naturally compositional. But unfortunately, many of the architecture in computer vision tasks generate representations that are not compositional. On the other hand, people understand the world not only from vision. We use much more information from many human senses, for example, eyes and ears. In recent years, not only human senses, there have been advances in running from much more data like Wi-Fi. Much modal recognition makes some benefit in recognition and a noisy thing like partial occlusion. In this workshop, we introduce two new datasets related to compositionality and much modality. The first dataset is Action Genome. The Action Genome captures atomic action in the human activities and also captures changes between human object relationships in the events. The second dataset is Home Action Genome. Home Action Genome also captures atomic action and relationship in the human activity using much more sensors like camera, microphone, and thermal sensors. The details of two datasets and challenges will be shown in another talk. In this workshop, we invited five distinguished researchers in this field. Professor Dima Damen from University of Bristol, Professor Kristen Gorman from University of Texas at Austin, Dr. Ivan Rafti from India, and Professor Justin Johnson from University of Michigan, Dr. Chang Gan from MIT. Some talks will be live session. You can ask questions at the Zoom webinar. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy our workshop.